The Taoist philosophers taught that effortless living was available to all of us, a state of being they called Wu Wei. How's your Wu Wei journey going? The difficult bit about the philosophy of flow is actually applying it. I've been on my Wu Wei journey for six years now, and today I'd like to share with you four specific ideas to help you on your journey. And yeah, we'll get into why that last sentence was a paradox. And later on, I want to share what I'm still finding difficult about my Wu Wei journey. Let's do this. The Taoists developed a lot of their philosophy through observing nature. They saw the strength of the trees and listened to the beauty of the bird song. They saw that there wasn't anyone building the trees or telling the birds what notes to sing. Nature, or the word they used, the Tao, didn't do anything, and yet nothing was left undone. Wu Wei translates as non-action, and it's one of the defining qualities of nature, all this amazing stuff done without any forcing. Other definitions we could use, non-forcing, effortless effectiveness, natural spontaneity. If you want to get deeper into Wu Wei as a concept, I've linked some of Ensel Ganger's videos in the description. He's an awesome creator here on YouTube. Wu Wei offers a very different way of living our lives to the ways that society recommends for us. Society tells us you've got to work hard and work fast in order to be successful and valuable. And this leads us to putting a lot of force into our lives, often where that's not actually necessary. It means that we get in our own way and it leads to tension and strain. And if nature can make amazing things like this and this, all without words and planning and worrying, surely we can do it too. So, how can we woo way? If you imagine that bank is effortless living Wu Wei and we're still here in effort land, how do we get over there? And surely if we want to get over there, we can't use effort and forcing and trying to do things, reading books and listening to podcasts, or else that would be putting effort in and we'll never arrive. And so there's a paradox at the root of Wu Wei, which is fine, we can hold it. Life is full of paradoxes and we can hold both the reality that we need to put practice into becoming more effortless trying different things, reading books, etc. But also, can we hold at the same time that to really become Wu Wei, we need to completely let go of all intentions of trying to be someone doing anything and instead just to relax into living our lives. Maybe in a bit, I'll pluck up the courage to effortlessly fly over there. But first, we need to explore some ideas. So here are four ideas from me to help us become more Wu Wei. Idea number one is remember you have an immense intuitive intelligence. In the same way that nature can do a lot of amazing things without thinking, that's the same for you as well. Like if you're cooking your evening meal with a friend over, you're not verbalizing in your mind, chop carrot, boil broccoli. Instead, you're effortlessly cooking while talking to your friend. <laughs> and actually with training, we can navigate a lot of our lives through this intuitive intelligence. And so instead of having to think and plan and worry, we can just remember that it's an option, okay? A mantra you can repeat to yourself is I give myself permission to act from the present or I'm going to see what my intuitive intelligence can help me navigate about this. And actually with training, we can allow ourselves to use our intuitive intelligence for a lot of our lives. For me, starting my journey, I didn't even know that I had an intuitive intelligence really. I was disembodied. In the words of Ken Robinson, for most people in the West, they see their bodies simply as a vehicle to move the brain between meetings. For me, it was Tai Chi and meditation and any sort of sport really that helped me re-embody and to reconnect with my intuitive intelligence. And so at the start of our journey of remembering that this intuitive, more effortless way of being is available for us is to really spend more time in that intuitive intelligence. So. Is there a sport that you enjoy? Can you recommit to a movement practice where you can hang out in the here and now, in your sensations and begin to develop trust in the intelligence of your body? How do you actually remember that's an option though? Because that is the difficult thing to remember when we're in a stressful situation that actually acting from the present is available. And this is meditation, it is this core practice at the heart of Taoist cultivation which is to train our consciousness and our awareness to be here instead of having to only be thinking in thoughts. Thoughts are great and effort is great where appropriate, but often we're so compulsively thinking we don't have the freedom to choose our responses. 
And so can you start or recommit to a meditation practice or more generally spending more time in your intuitive intelligence? So sports or Tai Chi or walking in nature without any purpose. You can train yourself to not always be caught in thought. So remember your intuitive intelligence is an option and practice emptiness every day. But still, that won't be enough because actually a lot of the anxiety and stress that we have that takes us out of Wu Wei is because we don't trust ourselves to navigate the challenges of life from the present. Like for me, when I got anxious and confused after university, instead of trusting myself to just take one day at a time, I said to myself, I have to have my whole life sorted out. And so I brought all of my life into my thinking and I beat myself up if I didn't feel I had everything sorted out. So if we don't trust ourselves to be spontaneous and flexible, how do we develop that trust? Well, we could take quite a deep and philosophical approach to that question. Chapter four of the Tao Te Ching says, within the Tao, tight knots become loose, sharp edges become smooth. So that when we are in connection with our nature, we realize that this immense intuitive power is available to us. That power that produced everything in the universe that we are a part of and are a manifestation of. And so through self-reflection and exploring philosophy and thinking about where you come from, you learn that yes, actually I'm more resilient than I would normally give myself credit for. Can we trust the intelligence of the life force that animates us? Again, this life force that has created so much without thinking and planning. And so can we trust that and so trust ourselves? And so something you could try for your next meditation is to read that chapter and to just sit with it, not needing to intellectualize it, but see what insights and thoughts might come up for you. So that's quite a philosophical way of building trust in ourselves. Another way of building trust is through taking action, which is ironic for Wu Wei. But if we practice these principles of Wu Wei and we find through our own experience that, hey, actually, when I release tension, release thinking, that I actually can be effective, then that becomes a option for us that we actually trust. We trust that we can handle the challenges without always being caught in thought. And so action builds identity and our identity being a flexible Wu Wei practitioner, one that knows how to take effort when necessary and also knows when they can just flow. And this brings us back to the river. We now have these ideas of remembering our intuitive intelligence, practicing emptiness every day so we actually do remember and then thirdly, trusting our intuitive intelligence that we can navigate life with effortless ease and still be effective and do all the stuff we need to do. So can I actually cross this? I know I've set this river up as a metaphor with Wu Wei being over there, but also this is actually a practice that I do when I'm out in nature, jumping across stuff. Because talking about action building identities, that when we challenge ourselves to stay present and actually do things, then it exercises that strength of staying present. So jumping over here, normally I will have thoughts of, oh my God, I can't do it and I'm scared. But actually I trust that I can physically get across. So now I just need to let go of the fear, or fear the fear anyway, and just, just go for it. So it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> this is actually quite far, so how am I gonna make it? Woo! Let's do this. Well, there we go, I made it. How does it feel being in Wu Wei lands? Yeah, feels, feels the same. <laughs> I was thinking I definitely could have not made that and got all wet. And it is important when we don't live up to our standards, when we fall over, how do we treat ourselves? And this is something that I'm still working on. I have a, a taskmaster within me work harder George there's not enough time you know, it's the activist in me as well but this harshness is a waste of energy and so a quality I'm trying to cultivate is softness can I bring softness to still have energy for change and action but doing so in a soft and kind way <laughs> that's too cheesy <laughs>
Can you be soft and playful with yourself while still having energy for life? Can you laugh at yourself? Find such freedom there to break out of our cold rationality where we take ourselves so seriously. Find more joy and ease and flow. So there you go, some tools in the Wu Wei toolkit for you and also remembering to let go of any need for tools or trying to do anything and just to relax as well. And that's a paradox you've got to work out. Love to hear in the comments down below your ideas for helping you find flow. And I've made a playlist with some ideas and practices from me as well as other creators to help you on your journey. Flow well, my friend.